Hi and welcome to Lyme Regis. This is a seaside resort. It's actually a World Heritage Site. And it's a World Heritage Site in part because of the work that Mary Anning, the famous, famous fossil collector, did here at the turn of the, well, two centuries ago. She was born in 1799. These cliffs here, these shale cliffs, give way to some of the richest fossil finds in the world. Or at least they did for several hundred years until some newer sites have been discovered. And we're going to fossick around, oops, stepping in the ocean, and see what we can find. There's my daughter and husband. They're over at the shale. So these cliffs were out here at low tide. You can see how high the cliffs are. And the tide comes right in all the way up to the cliff edge. So we have to make sure that we're in inland prior to the tide coming in. And it comes in very quickly. And we're experiencing the spring tides at the moment, which are the very extreme tides. So they're going to come in very high. You can probably see people over in the distance. Sorry, that was a bit quick. I'm not sure if it's going to zoom in. And they're over there fossicking around in the shale rubble, looking for some of the fossils in the limestone. Okay, I'll uh, add more when we get back to the Philpot Museum and the birth site of Mary Anning. So I'm ending the day in Lyme Regis. We hiked out the Jurassic Coast. We found a number of fossil specimens. I'm just showing you right now what they call the Jurassic Coast. I think it might be too difficult to see the slopes and that hill slope in the distance. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. I'm not sure if that's in focus. You might see the downward gray sloping rocks. Those are alternating layers of limestone and shale. And that's where all the fossils are hidden. Above it, the lighter colored stone that you can see, or substrate, is Cretaceous, so it's newer. So all the, the dinosaur fossils that Mary Anning found were in the Jurassic layer. We visited the Philpot Museum, and, which was built on the location of her birth. And what I'd like you to do is check on Blackboard, and you'll see that there are a number of sites um, websites that I've posted for you to look at and I'll just close with a shot of the World Heritage Site, the very quaint beachside town of Lyme Regis. For any Jane Austen lovers, this is also rich in the history of Jane Austen as this is where persuasion was based or at least part of it. Bye, Lime Regis.